Hi, so it's been a while since I've done an outfit of the day, and so I'm going to do a quick one, and then I'm going to vlog a bit and share some things that I got, and um, so it isn't like a huge, exciting outfit of the day, but I wanted to share because it, I'm going to call this one Yay, It Fits. <laughs> I had gotten this um, little happy face with a top hat half um sweatshirt quite a while ago and um <clears throat> so it didn't fit me for a while I outgrew it this way so um I put it on today and it fits better it's still a little tight in some areas but it's better than it was it's actually loose here like it's supposed to be and then so because it is a half um shirt I go ahead and pair it with this uh Skulls tank top and just put it together. So yay that fits. I only own one pair of skinny jeans and I don't like skinny jeans but I had bought them at the time because they fit and because I was desperate. So this is my pair of skinny jeans that was not fitting in the summer in the spring. Um, It's got like fake rips in it and stuff and um, they fit so yay <laughs> I'm wearing one of my favorite pairs of of socks I don't know if you can see it here it is these are my Charlie Brown vampire socks and I got a Halloween clearance okay and then for jewelry I have my this Hello Kitty necklace I had for a long time and then a my skull bracelet and I had earrings on but I lost my earring back so I only have that earring on right now and then headband I'm wearing is um, what Becca made me I would wear it today and I thought it looked cute with straight hair and then this is hard to see alligator clip bow And I got that with a set today that I got on clearance as a Ever After High set of stuff, which I'm going to share in a minute. Also, um, today I was trying something new with my makeup. You can probably tell it's not quite as dramatic as usual. And I know it's been a while since I've done a video that I'm not wearing any makeup, but um, I decided to go with a more neutral palette and see if I can deal with it and like because I'm really tempted sometimes to just throw on the gothy look and tomorrow I'm going to be going out and doing some job stuff with Hugo taking some applications back and stuff so yeah I decided to see if I can find a look that's a little bit more I don't know what the word is toned down maybe so I know the lighting is terrible because it's nighttime and I didn't get to make this video until earlier today, I mean later tonight. Um, so I have on a really light, it was like a light cream and I kept putting light colors on the lid part and then I added white. And I went around with the dark, a darker brown and then again with the brows lighter. So, yeah, it, I think it looks okay. And then, um, you know, mascara and the usual eyeliner. Also, I'm finding, I mean, I've been doing it for quite a while now, but I'm finding that if I only do eyeliner, well, I don't really use eyeliner because it doesn't work for me. I use liquid eyeliner sometimes, but for under my eyes, I use black eyeshadow. And with those new, um brushes I got this was done with all the brushes um, I'm able to go underneath and do a really nice even job and I don't go all the way as you can see to the the crease in my eye I put white the same that I had up here right there to kind of highlight the inside of my eyes but what I like about it is I don't know I just kind of like the look I like the half look it just seems to look better for some reason for me 
and then I put a little bit above my eyelashes just to make it look fuller. So anyway, I went to Walmart today, and I, like I said, I only had five dollars. I went to a thrift shop yesterday. It was completely unsuccessful. So I went to Walmart, and they still had some of their Christmas stuff and gift sets for 75% off. So they had a Ever After High one, and I threw the package away already, but it came with this little thing and a purple one, which my friend took to wear, and then like this little hair chalk comb. Which I don't know if I'm going to use that or not. It doesn't seem like it's working. I don't know. And then two hair mascaras. I have not tried hair mascara in years. I'm kind of nervous about it. But I thought I'd try it anyway. I basically wanted it for the barrettes. And there's a purple hair mascara. And a gold. So this is Rebel Destiny and Magical Gold. And I really like the the um, Ever After High because I love fairy tales, and the dolls are just really cute. And I really want Maddie Hatter, Madeline Hatter, but I don't know when I'm ever gonna be able to afford her. She's like fifteen dollars I saw somewhere the other day. But anyway, um, on Netflix they actually have the cartoon. And I was watching it yesterday morning, and it was really cute. So, And it went completely along with the little booklet they gave me with the Raven Queen doll. So that was cool, because I kind of knew the background story from reading that. So that is that. And then I got something else that I wanted, because I'm kind of a lip balm, chapstick... Uh, whore, I guess. Lip balm, lip gloss, chapstick whore. Sorry, somebody came in and slammed the door. And so this one is Elf on the Shelf, which I know, I know Elf on the Shelf is completely creepy, but I didn't get it because of him. I got it because of the flavors and flavor scents, whatever you want to call them. So they're supposed to be. Merry Mint, yeah, Merry Mint, I read that wrong before, Hot Cocoa, Sugar Cookie, and Candy Cane. If you want to see a review on these, I will do it later, I just don't feel like doing it right now because I don't feel well, but um, just let me know in the comments if you want me to review these, like if you got them or something and you haven't tried them yet, or if you found them on clearance. So... Um, but I tried a couple of them. They're all right. Um, so that's that. And then I went to Rite Aid, and they were having 75% Christmas stuff. And I got a gift for birthday gift for a friend. And then I picked this up for myself because I'm a brat. It's a dark chocolate peppermint roca. Oh my goodness, because I love almond roca, and this is peppermint roca. Roca kit talk. It is really good. Regular almond roca has the toffee and then it has um, the chocolate and all crushed almonds. But this one doesn't have the crushed almonds. This one's just the toffee and inside the toffee has pieces of peppermint like candy cane and then around the outside is chocolate with white and they're really good and I'm trying not to eat them as often. I'm just trying to use them as like a little treat, you know, to have to satisfy. Because I'm really trying to cut down and not eat so many sweets. But I couldn't resist this because it was $6.99 originally. And it was down to like, what, a dollar something. I don't remember the change. but So this is what they look like. And they're wrapped up. And they smell incredible. Just smelling inside. Oh my goodness, they smell so good. I'm going to give the can to Hugo because he needs a can to keep changing. So that is that. Um, I just felt like sharing those things. And um, hmm. so 
or anything else I can share? Oh yeah. Um, there's a couple of other Christmas presents that I forgot to share after I did my video. And one of them, which is downstairs, I'll just tell you, I got the, the Disney Infinity um, uh, toy box of Toy Story, which is cool. I have to get on playing that more. Um, and then I got this book, a book from my friend's uncle. And he actually, the one that I told you was having surgery. He actually didn't have to have open heart surgery. Yay! They just put a stint in his, you know, wherever they needed. And so far he's doing okay. We talked to him and he, he seems to be in good spirits. So that's good. The other person that I told you about that has terminal cancer, I had a really good talk with her on the phone last night. And that's something else I want to share in a minute, but... Right now I'm going to share this. I'm kind of all over the place right now. I'm sorry. I got this book and it's called Weird Washington. And I've always wanted this book because I love, if anybody knows me, I love weird stuff. And I love roadside attractions and weird ones and big ones. I just love them. I think I said that in my 50 Facts video. So this book is really cool. It's about... Your travel guide to Washington's local legends and best kept secrets. So in Washington state, there's a whole load of things that you can look at. I'm trying to find some examples. There's everything from like baby graveyards to haunted houses, haunted roads, um, lots of paranormal activity in this. Um, there's something called the Ghost Road. They have, you know, representations of it, pictures, and, um, just, like, big things like this. I've seen this before, the big hot dog. That is in Aberdeen, and then they have a lady up there and the giant hot dog, and then there's a big eyeball. I think I've seen that before. Giant George Washington head. I'll tell you a story about that in a minute. This is the old gas station that's shaped like a teapot. I have been there. They have my favorite, favorite, favorite guy, Jake the Alligator Man from Long Beach, Washington. And all these oddities that they have in um, March's museum. They're in Long Beach, Washington. One of my favorite places to go. I think this would be a really cool place. It's called Gardiner, Gardner near the Olympia Peninsula. It's called Troll. Troll Haven, and there's trolls everywhere all over the place. I think that would be fun to go see. Look at it, it looks like a castle. I haven't read that much in here. I've read a few things, but it's a really cool book. Lots of fun stuff. They even have stuff in here about serial killers. Kind of creepy. <laughs> like places that they would frequent and stuff, you know, like Ted Bundy and uh, some other ones. Anyway, they have things like um, Bigfoot, you know, Sasquatch. And um, they have something supposedly that is supposed to be a jellyfish in the forest, a flying jellyfish, and a tree octopus. Bunch of freaky stuff. So yeah, oh, and they also talk about some alien things that happen near Mount Rainier. So it's a really cool book. Now the quick little story I have about this, right here, a statue, um, it's like a head, a wooden head of George Washington, was that town I had said in my um, Christmas vlog, the town of uh, La Connor. We went there looking for it, but it was too late at night, couldn't really see anything. Went to go ask a couple people if they've seen it. They've lived there for years. They've never seen it before, which is weird because in this book. Went to the bookstore and the girl was like, wow, I've never seen that before. So she looked it up for us and she said that it was outside rotting behind some store. And so it was too late to go search for it. But I really would like to find it because I thought it was cool. So, um, I was talking earlier about having a conversation with family friend Norma has cancer and um, 
she is just the most amazing woman. Um, we accidentally called her, you know how you do that sometimes, last night, and so I called her back to let her know that we're sorry to bother her that we called her by accident, um, but she's a talker, and she likes to talk quite a bit, so I didn't get off the phone for like an hour and a half or something like that, maybe two, I don't know. But it quickly became clear to me that it wasn't a mistake that I had to call her back and that it was a blessing and it was a God thing because she had some really good advice and insights for me about my life. Um, we had lived with her for, I want to say, almost two months maybe a month and a half, um, well, we, before we moved into this house, and so she kind of got to see how this family worked, and how things were, and how I was, and she's a very, very perceptive woman, because even, I never really discussed anything with her, and some of the things that she was talking to me about last night, about what I need for myself, like freedom and my own space and getting away from people and wanting a job, my own bank account, my own money. Just being able to be myself and not have to follow everybody else and do what everybody else wants. All of this is stuff I think about on a daily basis and she knew it and she just started talking about it. And, you know, she really was in tune with me, and it was so weird, but yet it was kind of like, wow, you know, God really is working here because he, he, he has you talking to me for a reason. And then she was kind of giving me some ideas about jobs um, to try to apply for a job at Safeway. Um, and I have before, but... She told me that you really got to actually go in there and kind of talk to the manager to get your foot in the door and introduce yourself and just be really friendly. And and she said she'd be my reference. Because she worked at a Safeway for 20 years. And so she said she'd be my reference for that. And so I thought that was really sweet and wonderful. And I was really excited about it last night. I started taking notes, started planning things out. <sighs> And then this moment hit me late at night where I started to get really nervous, really scared, wanting to crawl back in my comfort zone, not being confident, and just be like, oh, I suck and all this stuff. And I started to feel really, really down. Um, but I decided to kind of just pull myself out of that. I still was feeling it throughout the night. I got really tired. I've been getting tired a lot lately, but I do a lot. And so instead of feeling completely bad about it, I decided to write something in my positivity journal. And I know I've shared this a long time ago, but I haven't been writing in it, to be honest. Because um, I just haven't felt very positive about a lot of things. But I decided to open it up last night and start writing because yesterday I got a lot done so I gave myself props and I said you did really well today you filled out three applications and have a potential for a third which would be Safeway and a wonderful reference in Norma a good talk with her too she really seems to understand and then I put in a little word bubble or Wonder Woman is saying, don't be down. You got what you needed done today. You are awesome. So I need to start writing on this more often and reminding myself that I am trying. And I'm really trying to be successful at job hunting and stuff. So given that, tomorrow I'm going to be going with Hugo. I'm going to be meeting Hugo. And I'm going to show him a, a couple of places that he can possibly inquire about for work. Um, 
I need to go back to, to one of the motels and find out what's up with them. Um, and then I have some plans written down. Things I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to go to the post office. Uh, return my applications I filled out yesterday. So basically we got business tomorrow and we're going to do it. We're going to be good and I will be happy to get it done. So I got to get up early and head out the door and do that. And I'm sorry if this is a really boring vlog. I just felt like talking out loud and sharing stuff. So thanks for watching and I hope you guys are doing all right. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> Sorry. Love you. Later.